The silence of Tate Britain's Devine galleries is being broken by the pounding feet of runners, sprinting as if their lives depended on it. Between now and November, a single runner will hurtle along the long halls every 30 seconds. This is work number 850 by British artist Martin Creed, who previously divided public opinion when he showed work number 227 at Tate Britain, which consisted of the lights in a gallery being turned on and off, and that contributed to him winning the Turner Prize in 2001. Work number 850 is part of Creed's ongoing series of investigations into real life, which has so far included films of people being sick, defecating and having sex. Rather than simply presenting real life in the gallery, however, work number 850 is closer to being a highly stylized piece of conceptual theatre, with the runner's perfect motion framed by pauses of silence in the empty gallery. Well, it, it started first of all just with the idea that people would run and, uh, and, I, and I didn't know what I wanted I, and I started with people just kind of jogging really and, uh, and then I realised that that wasn't exciting and whenever any of the people that I tested out, whenever they sp sprinted I just thought it was great you know and then um, and it kind of made everyone smile and I think this work is very much like um, uh, life, you know, it, the runners come and go you know, just as we do, you know, and they're all alone just as we are, you know, <laughs> and uh, you know, every moment comes to an end. Repetition is, is a comfort in a world that's chaotic and ever-changing and crazy, so something which is can be relied on as regular rhythm is, I think, is, is a comfort. Renowned for being an artist who makes nothing, or rather who prefers to modify what already exists in the world, Cree's artistic strategy might be summed up by his early neon work, the whole world plus the work equals the whole world, which is one way of saying that when the exhibition is finished, there won't be anything to take away. So is Cree trying to annoy those who think art should be tangible things like painting and sculpture? Is he interested in physicality? Or is he just anxious about the act of making? And if so, why? I think that when, I, when it comes to working and like trying to make things for people to look at, um, it strikes me that, uh, that you cannot see a thought. So... You know, I can think and work on ideas as much as I like, but what? But when I present something to people, all I can present is a, is a, is a surface, something to look at, you know? And, uh, and so that's what I concentrate on. You know, when I work, I'm always anxious about making something that I'm happy with, some, uh, causes me worry, you know, to make something in the world and so often I try to, when I make something, to, to sort of unmake it at the same time so that it, or to make something that has built into a space uh, uh, for people and um, this work Similarly, you know, has this a re has a built-in rest, um, and it's also very much a part of the environment. You know, it's not it's not in a frame like a picture. It's the work is happening in the space with the public. You know, there's no there's no stage and audience. It's all uh, it's all mixed up. I, I feel quite mixed up. <laughs>